Hello everyone, this is Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader. And we're here tonight to start doing some software programming on the QIT KT7900D so that I can show you how easy it is to program. This is a video in the series of reviews that we're doing on the QIT KT7900D. Technically a tri-band, it's a quad band actually. Does FM receive, aircraft receive, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's pretty easy to program. It came with a programming cable, uh, but no software. So I just did the right thing and pulled up Chirp. Chirp Next, to be exact. I'll put a link in the description. You may even see it somewhere here as well. Figuring that out. But hey, upward and onward, right? <laughs> okay, so let's switch over to the radio and turn it on. I've already got the... Uh, programming cable plugged in and I've done a few alterations already I bet you can tell what they were I made the screen match the upper and lower borders but I changed or I left the bottom text uh, its default color so let's go ahead and bring up chirp And we'll go ahead and read the radio. It's called Alt D, download from radio. I chose the pro prolific USB to serial port COM7. It just happens, just what happens to be at this time when it detects the cable. Hit OK. Read the nice directions. Hit OK again and let it read. And there we are. The thing is, once the radio reads, it turns itself off. Normally, you would think it would reboot, but no, it turns itself off, and you've got to reach back over and turn it back on. Not a problem. So here on the screen, as you can see, is the programming information that we have it in there as we have it in there now. So let's go ahead and plug in something like, just for test purposes, we'll change this to 144.200, just for testing purposes. Tab over to name, we'll give it a name, and for now we'll just call it test. Give it a, a tone, 100.0. If we want, we can change it to tone squelch or DTCS on the receive side also. If we wanted to, and polarity, we can do a cross mode. We can even set the duplex if it's a repeater, which this instance is not. And you can set the mode here, which is going to be FM or narrow FM. But since it's 2 meter, we're not going to make it narrow band. We're going to leave it wide band as ham radio should be. I believe the skip is for scan channels and the power level. For this instance, we're going to set it to low. You only get two choices though, high or low. And then you can add a comment here if you need some uh, information for when you're programming. All right, so we put that in on channel two. These channels start with zero because that's the way the Chinese folks like it. Hey, it's logical, works for me. So we'll come back up here to view. I'm sorry, we'll come back up here to radio and then we'll upload to the radio. Make sure our information is correct and hit OK. Read it a little prompt. Hit OK again. And we'll just keep right on trucking. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen of the radio, it says write, which means it's accepting the programming information that we're sending it. And then the radio switches off. So we have to turn it back on. And back on it is. 
So now we got to switch this radio over on one of these four bands, if you will, or sections, A, B, C, or D. So let's just switch back up to A. And then we'll go to channel 2. And there's our test channel as we put it in. So we'll grab another walkie over here. Throw it into VFO. And we'll type in 144, 200, and test it out. KD5 FMU. KD5 FMU. But it passed it right on through. So let's test it from the QYT KT7900. Test one, two. Interesting. Testing one, two, three. The audio is loud and clear. But it doesn't seem to be. Yeah. All Star always seems to interrupt from time to time. So let's do that. Uh, testing one, two, three. So don't get me wrong. The audio is superb. KD5 FMU. Now you're hearing a little bump in there, and I believe that's my home Wi Fi. KD5 FMU testing one, two, three. Actually, it's a little feedback. I've got this thing turned up too high. Kilo Delta 5 Foxtrot mic uniform testing one, two, three. It's actually pretty good. So let's do this. Let's change that program or that frequency we just put in to 444.000. Leave it labeled as test. Leave that PL tone in there. And we'll make that offset zero. And we'll upload this to the radio. It's accepting the programming. Got that program back in, code plug back in. We'll go back to our test frequency. Four forty four dot zero. Test one two. Kilo Fut Delta Five Foxtrot Mike Uniform. Testing one, two, three, four. Kilo Delta Five Foxtrot Mike Uniform. Yeah, it's uh, too loud. KD Five FMU. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. You can tell when you transmit on the radio that the lettering goes to red to indicate it's transmitting. The audio sounds really good. It's programmed to send out a PL tone. Radio is set for a PL tone. Let's see which tone it is set for. Just notice that. Oh, 100, which is exactly where it should be. Okay, cool. K5 
KD5 FMU. Kilo Delta 5, Foxtrot Mike Uniform, testing 1, 2, 3. Don't get me wrong, this radio has its faults, but it's a nifty little booger and so portable. So portable. I recommend it highly already. The next thing we'll test is the. The next thing we test it will be the two tone encoding. Let's see if we can do the FM receive. Sounds a bit muffled. Almost like it's partially off frequency. That is a local station up in Okmogi. It's about 15 miles away as the crow flies. So let's try. Oh, that's wrong frequency. That's a high power station in Tulsa, which is about 45 miles away. Audio's good. As soon as I can remember, there it is. It's not bad reception. That's monitor. That's VFO to memory. Hmm. Got the little indicators at the top, which I'm assuming is the signal strength, the power setting, wide or narrow. Uh, battery indicator? Don't know why. Because it's not got a battery. So, nonetheless. There it is. The QYT KT7900D. Quad bander. Nifty, nifty little radio. And very, very easy to program. If it comes with a program and cable, then all you got to do is download Chirp Next. See the link in the description. 73s, everybody. KD5 FMU wishing all this good signals to be yours. Hope everyone's having fun in uh, Dayton, Ohio at Hamvention. Wish I was there. Y'all be careful out there. And have a good weekend. Be safe and ham on.